هلا we are um, at week nine and in week nine there are two hands handouts the one is called nine uh, a and the other one is called nine b nine a is about financial documents so this is an introduction to financial documents so let's quickly zoom in a bit right so first of all financial documents are documents relating to personal and household finances this includes household bills like electricity bills municipal bills telephone bills cell phone bills etc etc um, shopping documents is till slips and account statements and banking documents is bank statements and bank charges and household budgets okay so these are all household financial documents till slips uh, you have to discuss the definition of a till slip and what you will find on it and discuss VAC exempt products. All right, a till slip is a piece of paper or a document that is a proof that you have purchased something at a shop. It is important to keep this slip in case there is something wrong with one of the items you have bought and you need to return the slip with the item to the shop. On a till slip you will find the following information, the name of the shop, the VAT, VAT, value added tax, registration number of the shop, contact details of the shop, name of the cashier, date of purchase, time of purchase, all items bought and the individual prices, the number of items bought, the total of all the items bought, the VAT you pay on the items, the way of purchase, that's cash or electronic payment, by card in other words, rounding of the total amount, amount of change that is given, and items that are VAT, ex VAT exempt are marked with either a hash or a star. Okay, now look at let's look at the VAT exempt products. VAT value added tax is consumption is a consumption tax of fourteen percent of, of on goods or services sold that businesses have to pay to the government. However, there are some exceptions. Poor people suffer to afford basic basic items. Um, if they ha don't have to pay VAT on those items, it will be cheaper for them. Okay. So, uh, zero rated and exempt supplies, uh, the following goods and services are zero rated exports, 19 basic food items, eliminating per paraffin, per paraffin uh, goods which are subject to fuel levy like petrol or diesel, international transport services, farming inputs, sales of good going concerns and certain grants by the government. Goods and services of VAT uh, f exempted from VAT are non-free related financial services, um, non-fee related financial services, educational services provided by an appropriate approved educational institution, residential rental, rental accommodation and public road and rail transport. Okay, so the basic food stuff re that are zero rated in South Africa that you don't pay VAT on. Brown bread, maize meal, samp, mealy rice, um, dr dried mealies, dried beans, lentils, pulches, uh, or sardines, um, in tins, sardinella, oh, that's a different word for pulches, I assume, milk powder, dairy powder blend, rice, um, vegetables, fruit, vegetable oil, like sunflower oil, for instance, canola oil, milk, cultured milk, brown wheat and meal, brown wheat meal probably, um, brown wheat flour probably, eggs and edible legumes and pulses of leguminous plants, for instance soybeans or soy. Okay, so these are, are not, um, they don't have any fat added to them and that makes them a little bit cheaper. Okay. This is a, the exercise you have to do is about questions about a till slip. It is um, similar to the work that you've done in grade 10. All right. Account documents, a municipal account. Make a summary of the following in your workbook. Why do you receive a municipal account? Discuss at least two reasons. 
um, because the municipality give us some services and we have to pay for it so that they can can um, again pay their bills to the government or to service providers um, and also yeah it's for water and electricity and also yeah we pay the um, with the water and electricity, electricity, the uh, municipality has to pay to ESCOM and water, sometimes they do their own water supply and they therefore have to pay towards them or you can have private water in the municipality as well. Uh, on an account document you will find the following information, the type of account and the institution for example the name of the municipality, the name of the account holder, the person who is responsible for paying the account, the duration of the statement from when to when, the balance of the previous invoice, how much you still owe, a detailed summary of activities during the month, so how much water you've used and sanitation services etc, the rate of the services, so for instance the cost per kilowatt hour of electricity, and the cost per kiloliter of water, the amount due for each activity, the total amount owed before VAT was added, and the amount of VAT that needs to be paid, the total amount the account holder needs to pay, and this includes VAT, and the date by which you must settle the account. Okay, so those informations will all be added to an account. Thank you very much.